Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to episode 60 of the Elements Dev Diary. Now this week we've got a new component to show you. We've been working on a ton of stuff and I've really got a lot to go over, but in this video I'm only going to focus on the accordion component. It's super good, really flexible. Uh, we've got a lot of other stuff um, that I really want to show you, but I don't want to um, dump it all in this video because it'll be too much to cover. So this video is just going to cover the accordion, but we've got plenty more videos coming up with um, where we'll be covering the form and there's a few other surprises as well that we've uh, that we've been working on. So um, today let's look at the accordion. So I've got my document here and um, it's just a basic document and in here I've got these accordions set up but I thought what it'd be best is to go over to the browser and show you um, what you can build and then we'll come back and build an accordion and I'll show you exactly how it works. But let's see how flexible these are. Now I've got my browser window here, let's move that up a bit and this is, uh, this is just what we were looking at in the editor and you can see it's a fairly standard component um, or accordion and it's looking really nice. We've just got these four questions and you can turn them all down and they all work independently. So these are not grouped together. You can move these up and down. But I know some of you are thinking, ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. I want, I want to only see one at a time. And that's fine, you can do that. So in this next example here, um, you can see this is looking different. I've got a different icon. The icon's on the other side. And also when I open and close them, only, only one can be open at a time. So you, you've got control over this. You can really fine tune how these are linked together. Uh, and I'll get onto that in a minute. So yeah, so this is really nice, really flexible. Uh, then we've got another FAQ here. This one, I've got some styling um, around each edge. So it's all really nice and tidy and this looks very smart. Um, let's move on. So here I've got some little rollover animations. And you can see how wildly different these are looking. Um, so this component is really flexible. So I've got, again, I've got another festivals detail uh, list here. So you could use these for a lot of things. And you'll notice here, we don't have an animated icon. We've just got a big icon this side. And we've set this up because you can have anything you want in the, uh, in the title, in the header there. So you're not limited to just text. You can design that. You put in what you want. And it's the same with the um, answer in the, the bottom part of the accordion. You can put in whatever you want. So this is really nice. These are all individually styled, but kind of together as a group, looking really good. Um, and here's an example of what I was talking about. We've got an icon on the left-hand side, as well as our little turn down menu. Again, it's different different uh, style of animation there on the icon um, and here's another example just you know you can style them all independently really flexible because the way we've built elements and the way we're building these components they're really um, low level they give you control over everything so you can build what you want which is the main thing we're going for so here you can see I've got some content in there very simple just an image there but you can drop in what you want you can put grids you can put more accordions in accordions if you want it all just works like layout whatever you want in here um, and here's an example of this kind of this is uh, you could imagine this being full page uh, you know this could be an entire website here you can put all your content I've laid this out. So this would be great for a design website. See this real nice. I've got my title on the right hand side and this icon on the left and it just turns around and highlights when you click that. So you hopefully you're seeing how flexible these are that you can really uh, just have a lot of fun with these and style it how you want. Again, another style here. We've got this nice little board around the edge and it uh, matches the darker color underneath here while the header is a light gray. Um, got these nice little cubes turning there. And again, this, so this, um, these are in two groups. So this group here on the right hand side, they're all together, so I can only have one of these open. And this is a separate left hand group. So these work independently. And if I wanted, I could have them all as one group. Um, but just for the, this demo, I, I decided to show how you, you know, you can have as many groups as you want. I could have everything on the page shut at the same time if that's what I wanted um, or work all independently. Um, here's another little, uh, again, different drop down. Um, 
different style. This is a nice big clean style. So you can see you can really uh, do what you want. Um, yeah, and another one, I've got some um, frosting there, that kind of uh, transparent look. And this little icon just twists a little bit. So you can set the rotation. So here you can see it's not going all the way, but it's like a little dial. Whoops, it's like a little dial being turned on and off. Um, so those are nice, they're all grouped. And then uh, to finish off, I thought, just to give you a few more ideas on how flexible these are, I've added some accordions to cards. So um, here you can see this, uh, just a little overlay there and it's frosted. And again, I've got one here that drops down. Um, so these, you know, these are real nice. You could use these on your own. We call these cards, but these are just containers uh, because they're su super flexible. And here, this last one, we've got a nice, nice image at the top. And then some details here, you click the I button, or click on this part here and gives you some more information. So that's a lot of different accordions and it's all built with the same components, which is wild. You know, that is why Elements is really flexible the way we've built these. Okay, so um, let's go. So here's my document and this is uh, what we've been looking at. Now, when you're in edit mode, all the accordions are open so you can um, click in and obviously edit what you need to edit rather than having to turn these down all the time. So it's quite nice that everything's on show like that and you can just click in and edit it. Um, before we build our own, let's just have a quick look at this. Uh, where are we? So this is the accordion. And at the top here, um, I've put a flex in here and then I've got a SVG and some text. So you could do whatever you wanted in this drop zone. I could have put anything in here. I could put an image, I could put a movie and the same goes for under here. Um, in the content area, I've just got some text. I've just dropped a text box, but I can have anything. But let's go to um, a demo page. I've got an empty page here and let's build one up so you can see how this works. Uh, let's go over to components. Uh, now I filtered down to accordion and um, I've done that just so you can't see the other components we're building, uh, but I've just realized I need a container. So let's quickly get that. So let's pop the container in there and I'll pop the accordion in a container. And then on this container, let's get some spacing so we can see what we're doing with the accordion. Uh, I'm going to go, let's go 40 there. Lovely, right, so I've dropped the container, um, the accordion in, and you can see it's um, two drop zones at the moment. It's got a title and a content area, and then we've got this icon on the side here. Um, so we can style the icon here, but let's get some content in. Um, we're gonna need, we're gonna need some text. I think I might have to blur some of this out so you don't see what other components I've got in there. Otherwise, it spoils the surprise. Um, right, so uh, let's uh, put some text in here. So I've dropped in a text box into my header of my component. Um, and we can style this, obviously, the way we usually would. Let's get, let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Um, and let's copy this. Let's copy this down here and we'll make this one a little bit smaller. Um, and we don't need it bold. Let's go down a bit more. Uh, so that is an accordion. Now it doesn't look much. Let's go and view it in the browser. There we are. And then if I turn this down, you can see it works just like that. So really easy to set up these accordions and then you can kind of go into more detail and start styling them. But so, um, yeah, so we've got a simple accordion. Uh, let's go back to that page. Um, and you, so what we can do is we can just copy and paste these uh, and build them up like that. But let's do, um, Let's do a little bit of a, a, start, a styling on this. So I've got my accordion selected and uh, let's have a look on the borders. We can put a border on this and let's go, um, uh, we can put a two pixel border all the way around it. Go and preview that, we don't need that. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Um, now let's make this look a bit nicer. We need some padding on this 
Uh, so there's probably a few ways you can do this, I think. Can we put spacing on here? This would bring it all in, yeah. We could do this if we just want to bring the whole thing in together. Um, same on here. Just adding some padding all the way around it. There we go, that's looking a bit better. Uh, probably want less padding on the top. Um, we can give it a little background color. Maybe a light blue and let's change that border. Uh, we'll make that a lighter blue. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay, this is shaping up. Um, so we can change the icon. So we can set the alignment. We can say we don't want an icon at all. So we can remove that. We can say we do want an icon and we can set which side we would want it. And we can set the size. Um, let me just switch to my favorite layout. There we go, because uh, now I've got some of these um, SVG icons in my uh, project. So like, I can drop this in here and it'll overwrite. By default, the accordion comes with this little arrow, but you can drop in um, an SVG of your choice. So that's pretty big. Let's make that a bit smaller. Let's go and preview this. Yeah, so there we go. So now it rotates. And in our closed state, uh, so we've got an open and close here. Let's set the rotation to zero and zero. So if we didn't want animation, we could do this. And then it, I can just click the um, button and I don't get anim animation. But when it opens, we want this to animate. And I think if we do 45 degrees, let's do that. Yeah, now it turns into a little X. Um, and if I wanted it to go the other way, we'd just do minus 45. And now that should roll inwards. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. And let's make this a blue color as well. Um, oh, that's when it's open. There we are. Let's set the, we'll do them both the same. So now we've really got a blue vibe going on here. This is looking, this is looking pretty nice. Uh, let's. We could change both our text colors. Let's make them um, blue. We'll, get, we'll make them a dark blue just to match. And maybe our subtext, uh, well, that's a bit bright, but we could knock it back a little bit. Let's go 60%. Um, that title's quite big. So I'll probably make that a bit smaller. So nice, so this is really starting to shape up now. Uh, so you can see how easy this is to style and let's on the borders let's set these to let's set the radius to none so it's a uh, angular nice um and again uh, like i showed you before we can just copy and paste these and they start to stack up um we've got a double line here because you've got a um a border on the top and bottom of both so what we want to do we'll just take off the border there Boom, and now this is looking pretty good. So now you've got, uh, you could just stack these up in your website and that's your accordion done. And by default, you can see they are both working in a group. Uh, let's get another one in there so you can really see. And I'll show you how the groups work. So now um, we've got these and only one stays open at a time. Uh, but if we wanted them all to open together, we just need to set the grouping. So what I'm gonna do, um, or if we wanted them not grouped together, sorry, to work independently, uh, we can go to the grouping and I can just say none. So let's do that. And so now um, they all work independently, which is great, you know, which you might want. Uh, I quite like it when they work independently. So the viewer can see, uh, can read all the information without only seeing one at a time. Uh, that's quite nice. And uh, let's copy this um, and we will, uh, let's take down the spacing on that. Boom. Uh, and then I'll show you how the grouping works. So what we can do, um, if we wanna put these all in a group, we can say parent and that will, um, anything in this container will be in that group. So all these will move together, but these will not because they're in a separate container. However, we can also set a custom. Um, so let's set this up as group one. And so these will all move together and these won't. 
So now when I do these, you can see only one of them is open at, at the same time, but these still remain independent and just ignore these. But I could get them all uh, to work together. And to do that, I just need to apply this group ID to these accordions. So I select all the accordions again, go to grouping, custom, and I'm gonna say group one. And so now they will all work uh, as one. So I can only have one of these open at a time. So this is really flexible, allows you to build your page uh, in the way you want and have it work the way you want. Uh, so yeah, so now they're all working together as just one group, which is really cool. So that's grouping, really handy to set things up the way you want. Uh, then I, you know, I set that back to none, and then now they'll all be uh, they'll all be independent again, and we can open them all at the same time. So yeah, really good stuff. Um, let's go. Uh, that's showing all. That's showing all my um, <laughs> all my components there. Going to have to blur this out. I'm sorry. Uh, but what we need is uh, I was thinking of getting a flex so I can show you how how this works. Um, and we want to put a flex in the title there. And I'm going to put my text in the flex text in the flex and then we're going to want an image or actually let's do an SVG because I'll put uh, we want the SVG in the flex so now I've got my flex box at the top with an SVG and text in it uh, not really digging that layout I want them to be different um, we want them to be in a row so now they appear next to each other and let's pop an icon in there uh, we'll go and preview that so you can see I could have put anything in there, but you can really build this up to look how you want. Uh, that's not sizing. Let's change this sizing because that's not looking uh, too great. Oops, that's on the flex on the SVG. Uh, sizing, let's make him a bit smaller. And on the flex, we need a bit of spacing between the two and that is a horizontal. Boom. So there it adds a little bit of space between them. And we want the um, components to be justified, which uh, I always, let's see now that center that way. I always get this wrong. Oh, there we are, center. So um, align item center, and that will center them in the height. Because uh, if I go, let's go to spacing. And if I increase this spacing a bit, then we can see they're both, um, they're both centered. If we go back to the Flexbox settings and say, uh, and you can see this icon move a, li a little bit, it's a bit hard to see, but that is uh, trying to center the, um, you, you can set whether they appear dead center at the bottom, at the top, etc. So Flex is really, really flexible, as the name suggests. So there we go. So now we put a little icon there and we've, uh, we've still got this. So you, you know, you can do, these are really flexible. You can just do what you want. Um, and we could turn the icon off on this one. So, you know, you don't, you obviously don't have to have them all looking the same in a group either, as I've shown you, you can, uh, you can just style these however you like. So there you go. So, um, yeah, accordions. This will be in the next beta for you guys to check out. They're really flexible, really fun to work with. Um, and I think they tick all the boxes for what you need for an accordion, really. We've tried to make it, again, all the components we're doing, we've tried to make them as flexible as possible so you can build whatever you want. And yeah, I hope you really like these accordions. Have a play around with them. Let us know what you think. Is there anything missing? Um, did we get it just right? Yeah, let us know what you think. And um, we'll be back very soon with some more videos and um, some surprise components to show you. All right, I will, uh, I will see you in the next video and have a good week. Cheers, bye.